Social Zoom Factor, episode 251. Driving results in business these days takes something special. It's a combination of the right info and the right energy. Pam Moore has both and is here to help you avoid the pitfalls and guide your business and life by leveraging and integrating social media, powerful branding, and digital marketing. Welcome to Social Zoom Factor. Now it's time to live life zoomed. Are you a small business owner, entrepreneur, or work on a corporate team and tired of wasting money on social media training courses that are nothing more than random videos thrown up on a wall like webinar spaghetti? Finally, there's a solution to get you on the fast track to social media business success and help you learn how to generate brand awareness, leads, and sales without breaking the bank. Visit socialprofitfactor.com and use coupon code Zoom. Again, that's socialprofitfactor.com, coupon code Zoom. Hey there, Zoomers, and welcome to Social Zoom Factor. This is your host, Pam Moore. All right, today, this is going to be a little bit of a shorter episode, and I really want to talk about one topic, and this is educational, and it's, you know, we do a lot of speaking and training and consulting through our agency marketing nuts, and we work with businesses of all sizes, from tiny solo entrepreneurs, funded startups, startups wanting to get funding all the way up to Fortune 10 brands. And it doesn't matter the experience of the person or how long they've been working in marketing the size of the business. I'm seeing even the most educated people still get confused when it comes to building out social media and digital marketing programs and really being able to not only build, but articulate and communicate a plan so that they can get buy-in. And in episode 250, we talked about the top three reasons your social media or digital marketing budgets are not getting approved, why you're struggling with buy-in. And we talked a lot about planning. So if you haven't listened to that episode, I encourage that you do so. But here's the thing. At the foundation, a lot of people are struggling because although they may understand what strategy is, what planning is, what tactics are, and what the difference between those things are, there's something weird that happens when people start working on platforms like Facebook and LinkedIn and Twitter and Instagram. They get almost like brain freeze where they forget this difference between a tactic and a plan and a strategy. And they start to all blend together because I'll tell you, we do a lot of audits on social businesses and we look at their plans. We look at their strategies. We look at their social profiles and we provide recommendations on what they need to do to optimize and to really get that to the next level. And oftentimes when we ask for the plan, we will just get a list of random tactics, right? And that's why I always talk about so much about stomping random acts of marketing, about aligning it to your business goals. It's not just because that's the only thing I like to talk about. It's because it's the, one of the top problems that I see. And so what I wanted to do today was just kind of go back to some basics and talk about what is the difference between strategy planning and tactics. Because as you're working on your plans for the coming year, you need to understand these things because you are not going to be successful if your goal is just to do social media. Okay. Everybody's quote unquote doing social media, including our kids and my, you know, nieces and nephews and people that don't even know what a business is. Everybody's doing social media. So it's not about a list of random acts of marketing. And it's not, what is Facebook going to do for me this month? It's, what are you going to do with the technology, right? You're in the driver's seat. And so you need to take that front wheel position and align these things to your business goals. And in order to do that, you need to understand what strategy is, what planning is, what goals are, and that 
social media is really just a medium that you're utilizing that connects you with your dream customers, with your existing customers, with your, you know, community and broader community, both local and online. And you, the last thing you need to do is try to do this all alone, right? You have to get people on board and you have to be able to articulate what you're doing so that you can get the buy-in and you can build a team and you can build a community and you can articulate where you're going, right? Communication is so important. And in order to be able to communicate clearly, you need to understand what it is you're doing and be able to articulate that to people in words that they understand. So I thought it would be worthwhile for us just to talk about strategy, planning, and tactics. Okay, I know that sounds simple, but it's very important for you to understand. So what is a strategy in relation to social, digital, online marketing? Okay, it is your plan. It is your framework that's going to help you achieve your long-term goals. It includes the approach and it supports your why. Why are you doing this to begin with? And I want you to think about maybe home builder. Okay, so let's say you're building a home or you're hiring a company to build a home for you. That company needs to have a strategy. They need, you need to know what kind of house are you building? Why are you building this house? How many people are you going to fit in this house? You know, is this a five bedroom house or is this a one bedroom house? Uh, What does that framework look like? We're not going to just show up with tactics and throw up the roof and, you know, have the roof calm before the foundation comes and the windows are sitting there getting broken before you even have the frame up. It's kind of the same thing when you think about social and digital marketing, that because it's so easy to throw random visuals and videos and those types of things out on the social web, everybody wants to do the tactics. The tactics are the easy part, right? And, you know, we've hired and a lot of people in in our days and running an agency and, and they'll be really excited about wanting to work in social media because they think they only get to do all the quote unquote sexy stuff the easy stuff. And when we tell them, you know, you're accountable for results, you're accountable for aligning these things to business goals, you're accountable for why are we doing what we're doing, you need to plan your work and work your plan. A lot of times we'll get that look on their face like what? Like that's not why I went to college and wanted to do a job with social media or digital marketing. That is what it is, right? And I've seen that all throughout my career in marketing. So many people think they want to move over to the marketing side of business, but then they find themselves not thinking it was as sexy as they thought it was. Now, for those of us that love this world and this space, I love the strategy part. I love the planning. And I also love the creative and the tactics. But you can't build a creative, beautiful home, as our example, unless you have a strategy for how you're going to do that and unless you have a plan. And our plan, those are the details of what you are going to do within the plan. So what are we doing within the plan, the details? So that strategy, that is our plan and our framework that helps us achieve those long-term goals. And then once we develop the plan, that's going to tell us what it is we're going to do. So we're saying, here are the things that we are going to do. Here's the major steps, right? We may be even talking a little bit about milestones at that point. We're aligning it to goals. We know what we're doing and we know how we are going to do it once we start moving into the specific tactics. So the tactics are going to be exactly how are you going to execute the plan that supports your strategy, Okay, and those include the specific actions that will help you achieve your desired goals. So when you have a list of, okay, we're going to create visuals, we're going to create, you know, live Facebook videos, what we're going to do, we're going to invite, you know, this executive and this guest and, you know, this partner and this client and here's the background we're going to use and here's the visuals we're going to create. Those are all 
tactics. Okay. So to be successful with anything, whether you're building a house, whether you're building a business, whether you're building a brand, whether you're building your personal brand, whether you're building a Facebook page or your entire social digital and branding strategy, you need strategy, you need a plan and you need tactics. And all of those things need to work together. And at the core, you need to make sure that you are aligning your efforts, your everything you're doing with social and digital to the needs and the goals of your business and pick those goals where social is going to be able to have the most impact, the most positive impact. So when you think about a social media strategy, it is a strategic plan for how an organization will incorporate social media into their business. So it saves time and it will help your business achieve your aligned goals and objectives, right? It's not what the technology can do for you, but what you can do with the technology. So I hope this podcast has helped you, you know, quick and short, um, be able to just help you rethink how you're approaching building out that plan. I encourage you to go check out some of our webinars. We have a strategy webinar with seven steps to build out your social media strategy. You can check that out at socialzoomfactor.com slash 249webinar, as well as socialzoomfactor.com slash 250webinar. That is where I share with you three easy steps to get your social media and digital marketing budget and plan approved and your boss on board. So I hope this was useful for you today. I wish you the greatest success. That's a wrap. If you're ready to zoom your business and zoom your life, then don't let the end of this episode be the end of your journey. Visit socialzoomfactor.com slash zoom for incredible free resources and guides. And be sure to join the Social Zoom Factor mailing list so you never miss an episode. We'll see you next time on Social Zoom Factor.